Hello viewers, this is IT System Admin, a complete information technology learning tutorial channel for you. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to upgrade your Windows 10 computer to Windows 11. It's a very important issue, so don't forget to watch full video. Microsoft recently launched the Windows 11 preview build. Those signed up as Microsoft Insider can download the Windows 11 preview right now. That includes access to the new redesigned Windows including the new start menu, multitasking features, overhauls, Microsoft restores and many more. Now I am going to show you the system requirement for Windows 11. Look, this is Microsoft official site. The minimum system requirement for Windows 11. Processor, minimum 1 GHz or faster with 2 or more core on a computable 64-bit processor. That means 32-bit processor will not be compatible for Windows 11. And now come to memory. Memory at least 4 GB RAM and storage minimum 64 GB or larger storage device. Then system firmware, UFI and secure boot capable and trusted platform module version 2. Graphics card. DirectX 12 compatible graphics or WDDM2X display 9 inch with HD resolution 720 pixels internet connection Microsoft account and internet connectivity required for setup for Windows 11 home certain feature require a specific hardware you can go to this link for details now first of all we have to check your system informations in search bar type system right click on system information click on run as administrator look the operating system 64 base os and the version is 10.0.1.9.0.4.2 build 19042 ok now close this now click on start menu click on settings click on update and security now click on windows insider program now click on get started Now you have to choose an account to get started. You have to log in first. You have to log in first to your Microsoft account first. Click on Microsoft account. Click on continue. To sign in, input your email address here. Click next. Now provide password. Then click on sign in. Click on next. Okay. Now choose the dev channel that means development channel and click on confirm. A better window for everyone. Okay, click on confirm. Now click on restart now. Now I am going to log in. Now again click on start menu. Click on settings, 
click on update and security click on windows insider program now click on windows update click on check for update look the next windows feature update is ready and includes reliability performance and security improve windows 11 insider preview and this is a security update for antivirus and this is dotnet framework for windows 10 version 20h2 this is malicious software removal tool and update for windows 10 version 20h2 and update for removal of adobe flash player of windows 10 version 20h2 because this PC will be first updated to Windows 10 20H2, then it will update to Windows 11 Insider, Insider Preview. Downloading will take a little long time. You have to wait up to 100% download finish. Windows Malaysia software removal tool has been downloaded completely. Now it's installing. Look, now download has been finished. You need to restart your computer. Click on restart now. Updates are underway. It will take a little long time. now upgrading finished you need to log in your computer wow it's windows 11 all interfaces design has been changed you will get all apps in here Now click on back. All icons in toolbar centralized in Windows 11. And this is a start menu. Just click on start menu. You will find here all recently used applications. And if you click on all apps, you will find all apps here and then scroll down you will get all installed apps here again 
this is search tab you can search here by all categories apps documents web and more tab email folder music people photos settings videos etc now sources are categorized here and this is the task view if you have opened multiple desktop window you will find all desktop windows here it's a new feature and this is widget you will find all information such as weather money transfer rate sports news and all other top news is here next this one is the microsoft edge browser and then the file explorer and then microsoft restore and at last mail and in right side of your taskbar you will find all hidden icons here here windows security that means Windows Defender, Windows Skype, and language. You can change language from here, and internet icon, and also sound and your battery status, and then the date and time and at last the notification bar this is all for today hope this tutorial is helpful for you keep watching for next tutorial thank you very much